This is a funny transition, that into, let's chat. Uh, we have so much stuff, but first of all, congratulations on Warrior. Uh, you collaborated with uh, a lot of rock artists on this. Iggy Pop. Yeah, he's my favorite. Okay, how did you get Iggy Pop to be on your album? Uh, it took a couple years, and I'm really good at stalking people, so I got, I like knew somebody that knew him. And I just kept emailing them, and I changed their email address. And then I, like, I literally stalked him. You stalked Iggy Pop? Yeah. Okay, so what, when you say that, you mean like you were in a darkened van outside his house? I mean, kind of. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I do tend to do that, but I just, like, weaseled my way to, like, get to him, and then finally he was like, fine. And I was like, yes. And then it's my favorite song in the You were in your shower at the time, yeah. probably, yeah. Uh, how did you, now, is this true? I, the, you claim that you have broken into the homes of famous people. Well, not, well, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty simple question. You broke into their homes? What do you mean you really broke into their homes? I didn't break you... anything. I went under a fence. <laughs> I did, though. But Did they it's... know that you were there? Well, when I was like, hey, Prince. <laughs> so you broke into Prince's home? I did. I did. How did you get a long it? time ago. Okay. What's the statute of limitations legally on a crime like that? So you went into his home. Was he surprised to see you? Or? Yeah, he looked excited and <laughs> surprised. This should be a reality show. There should be a reality show Kesha breaks into celebrity homes. It would be fun to watch. I would watch that every... Wouldn't you watch that? You, do it. you have a very close relationship with your fans to the point that you asked each of your fans to send you a tooth. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about that a little more. Let's what talk about it. what was the plan? That. What was the plan? You get the teeth? Well, I just I don't know. Okay, so I like wearing body parts as jewelry. So I thought I wanted to wear my fans because I love my fans more than anything in the world. Right. So I thought they could send me their teeth and then I made a headdress out of them and I wore and I had like a thousand, so now I'm making a bra. So I told me, You're making a bra out of human teeth. Okay. When you say it like that, it sounds really weird, but it looks <laughs> cute. Instead of bra of human teeth. That's that nice sounds sir. great. I don't know how that's going to feel, you know? You the bottom part out. Oh, smart idea. Right. That's right. And, there, and there's actually a picture in my book of my headdress that I made out of my fan's teeth. When you walk in my house, it's the first thing you see. That is so fantastic. I know. That gives me a great idea for our fans. I don't know what we would ask our fans for. You've done teeth, and, I don't, and there aren't a lot of body parts that were, you know what I mean? I can think of some. No. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to do that. You said, I have to ask you, so you're out of time, that you've slept with a ghost. I have to ask you, have you slept with a ghost? I did. Go to the bone zone with a ghost. <laughs> I mean, do you want, like, do you want detail? Yes! Ghost of who? Was it a ghost of a famous person? Was no, it like... No, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know his name, but he was in my house. You don't know his name? Why well, he's a ghost, and so he just started, like, caressing me like this. Oh. This story is getting better. <laughs> uh, and so then things proceeded from there. Right, it was a sexy time. It wasn't like sex. Uh... I love it. I absolutely love it. Don't even know the guy's name. Uh, Kesha's new album, Warrior, and her book, My Crazy Beautiful Life are both in stores right now. Yay. Thanks so much. I know you're so busy, but congratulations Thank on everything. You. Really happy Thank for you. Thank you. That's our show. Good night, everybody. I love that.